You said it was about the weather. Hi, I'm Gemma and I'm the bride. Me and Tom met seven years ago when he was a postman. I used to collect the mail from the shop that Gemma worked yeah. at. And he came in every day. Once I actually blocked the street with uh, with a van yeah. because I was so busy trying to chat Gemma up that I um, I forgot I parked the van out the front and like one of the main <laughs> streets into the city centre got blocked. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. What do you think of being asked to come here with Gem Bruce? Because obviously it's quite unusual for a brother to get asked to come to the dress for fitting. It feels lovely. It feels lovely. It does. That's it's simply my it's turn. It's really sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was about us. I, I can't believe I'm here. Can't wait. Yeah. It's just such an exciting day and it's such a beautiful location. Hello. 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 I brought to the boutique with me my brother Bruce, my mother-in-law to be Keely, and my mum Manjit. Well, you've had coffee, so you've got comfortable. Yes, have. Hi. Hello. I'm so sorry. I'm late. Hi. Are you the bride? Hi. Lovely to meet you. Hi. 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 Lovely to meet you. So listen, we're doing something major today. Yeah. We're going to try Absolutely. on some Asian clothes. I can't. I can't wait to see her. She looks. Come on, mums. I could not be more excited about this one. I love an Indian wedding. I love Indian dresses. They're so colourful and so heavily embellished. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Gemma, this is your first time trying on lengas. Yeah. How did you feel when she said she wants to wear a lenga? Massive pride. I've always struggled with my dual heritage because I just sometimes don't know where my place is and I don't know if I'm too Asian to be somewhere or if I'm too white to be somewhere. And sometimes it's really hard to show that through your clothing. She loved my mum so much, her oh. nanny. She was the one she'd always go to. Oh. Was your grandma from India? From the Punjab. She okay. had a little, in a little village called Kareempur. Why does that make you emotional? It just does. I, don't, I didn't think I'd get like this, but it just um, yeah, it just reminds me of my nan yeah. a lot. I didn't oh. think I'd get like oh, this. <laughs> How long ago did you pass? Um, it was 2019. I just miss her, yeah, so this will be nice. Yeah. Did she ever say when you get married she would like you to wear a lenga? Or yeah, she did actually, oh. yeah. She used to joke and she'd say, when are you and Tom getting married? There are so many emotions for good reason. It means so much more than just putting on a dress. This is her identity, an identity that she's put off for so many years. Well, let's honor your nan. That'd be really nice, yeah. Definitely. Reds first. Yeah. So, it's so full, mm. and so it's got an underskirt to continue on with the yeah, volume throughout gorgeous. the day. You're not gonna lose it. Mm. I am not really open to trying a red traditional lenga. I'm just a little bit nervous when it comes to being dual heritage. There's a lot of judgment that could come there. Something a little different. This one I think is also gorgeous. This is kutch fabric, which is really traditionally Punjabi. They're all tiny little mirrors that are sewn in. You, Mom, you must have seen this a yeah, thousand times. Yeah, very vintage. Really, really vintage. Yeah, I'd Do you like want to, give it a try? to try that on, yeah. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, Gemma! That is absolutely beautiful. Oh. Oh, you look like a Punjabi girl. <laughs> you do. That is Absolutely so stunning. Yeah. How does it feel? Good. The yellow lenga triggered memories of my nanny and all of the Bollywood films that I watched growing up. I love the design because when I see particularly this design with the smaller mirrors, it just like reminds me. Yeah. It reminds me of like our traditional like style. Mm -hmm. And I really liked that. It, it's just stunning. It is stunning. Yeah. My mum would be proud. It was just a moment when I saw her in it, out of her usual everyday clothes, and it just took me back in time. You were concerned about the yellow initially? Yeah. How do you feel about the yellow now? It's not the traditional red. Wow. That's so 
different. It's That's so very different. different. Oh yeah. I say that I've never really. seen anything like it. I like it. I like the I like the shape. I love how you can actually see some of my red riff yeah. because it comes up so it just splits it all up and oh, yeah. it's like it's not revealing but it's flattering, oh, right? Yeah. And I like how much of a gold detail there is. I really like that. And the red's just underneath to kind of like enhance it, right? Yeah. It just had something different to it that wasn't conventional, wasn't traditional, it was very modern. Mama? I'm not keen on the trousers. Too casual. Yeah. Skirt would uh, flatter her more. A longer skirt. I don't know how how much to em how much to embrace my culture through clothing because there's always going to be judgment from someone that it's not it's too Indian for her or oh she's too white for that. Do you really think? Okay. Do you think people would critique on it based on? Yeah. Because I can't imagine you in anything other than a lenga at this point. What? What? Isn't it major? <laughs> That's insane. I know. So you balance both cultures, you straddle both cultures. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you found your place? I'm still getting there because sometimes I feel like, depending who I speak to, they say, you know, you're too white to be here, you're too brown to be there. And I think that was a struggle more so growing up um, in a predominantly white area, which meant my culture was harder to embrace. Yeah. The colour of my skin was actually the biggest factor, I think. I bleached once when I was 14. Skin bleaching. Mm. And it's something that I did when I was nine. Because of the pressure of the white community and the Asian community, and so I started bleaching my skin. You obviously like hate yourself a little bit yeah. for doing it, and I feel bad. Um, but I hope that you have compassion for that kid when you look back at those photos thinking, I know why you were doing it. Yeah, Ma. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Oh. <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. Oh, it looks so stunning. Lovely. Nice. Beautiful. Danny would say, Bore Sonia. Oh. Didn't it say? Oh. Yeah. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> Very, Very beautiful. beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Bore Sonia, yeah. Nanny would have been very proud of her wearing the red lenga. Very, very proud. I know she would. <laughs>